how to connect bitrex 24 to anaton step by step hey everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to connect bitrex 24 to anaton so you can start automating your crm workflows without writing single line of code so let's get started first to get started with anaton just click in the link in the description below now let's dive in now first thing what you have to do is sign in with your account as you can see here just sign up with your account and open your workflow so in this video we will just add a http, HTTP node over here so click on this plus icon and enter search for http request and add this node now go to bitrex and the top right corner you will get to see to create an account so i have already created an account and then something will look like in your bitrex 24 this is a dashboard now what you have to do is in the left side you will get to see there is an option of navigation bar scroll down a little bit scroll down and you will get to see developer resources so what we are going to do here we are going to just uh, copy the credential and enter this into http request node so it will it can create uh, anything into bitrex 24 using the webhook so in order to get webhook just uh, open this developer resources and click on this others option and after that you have to click on this inbound webhook now so as you can see here this is a webhook to call the rest api so what you have to do is uh oh yeah you have to search for profile and if you scroll down a little bit you will find this option which is assign permission now over here you have to have two permission first is user scroll down there we go user and then second is crm and then just simply click on the save button and generate new click on the continue and copy this and go back to your workflow which is http request so this is a basic uh, workflow for anaton so any anyone can do that now what we are going to do here we have going to connect enter all of the detail and see the connection is working or not click on it and from here you have to so select the post because we want to create something into bitrex 24 so if you want to just read something you can select the get now over here you have to enter the url so what i'm going to do is just copy this url and the paste it over here before the next step here is the important one important note when you're working with the bitrix rest api you must include the method name at the end of the your url for example right now we are going uh going or we want to create crm so we have to add uh, something like that crm.lead.add.json this method tells bitrix 24 exactly what action to perform like adding a lead or updating a contact if you have forget this leave it out bitrex would not know what to do with your request and your api call will fail so often with the word or missing error so always double check the api endpoint include the correct method name so what i'm going to do is i will just add over here so let's uh, go back and copy this and uh, copy our url after that over here you have to add the the what you want to do with first crm and then click on the dot now over here click on the lead what kind of uh, do you want to perform what you want to add then we want i want to add lead so i will add uh, type add over here and then json so it basically tells the bitrex to do this perform so it is very easy and then click on this set the body and body from body content set to json and uh, from specific body use uh, select the using json 
in the JSON section, you have to add this field. Uh, then you have to open two columns. Then you have to give title, which is a new lead. I will change with, uh, let's say, rocket. Then uh, rocket CRM. The name uh, will be uh, rocket. Last name, Doi or rocket John. Uh, let's go to CRM. Let's see what we can add more. And go to CRM. And then uh, wait for a few seconds. Uh, let's create new CRM. So this is booking. Let's go to CRM back. And uh, what? let's see what we can add over here. So click on this plus icon. From here, you can create as well. As you can see here, we can add name as well, a lot of things like client. Uh, let's go to client. And let's add something. Client. Let's see if it works or not. And let's uh, execute this step and wait for a few seconds. As you can see here in the output, we have added this uh, node. Now go back to your CRM, refresh this page. Now, as you can see here, we have successfully added uh, something into our CRM. So this is how you can connect. Once it is connected, uh, you can automatically create or update lead, deals and contacts. You can synchronize CRM data with tools like Google Sheet, Gmail, Slack and more. You can trigger work, workflows based on form submission, tasks or messages. So yeah, this is how you can do. If you found this video helpful, then subscribe to the channel. And if you want to create automation or workflow, just comment it down below. I will create video for that. Thanks for watching.